Well, good morning. Hey, so today we're going to make another balloon tutorial and it is going to be on the character from Adventure Time. And we're going to do this. Um, it should be not, too, it's not a difficult design to do. It just takes a couple different types of balloons, especially for the head. So you're going to be using um, three, uh, four, four 260s, uh, two of them in a lime green and a dark green, and then one white, one blue, and then one a, a light blue, some blush, and um, you can do a scrap of a black or half of a black. So, um, so actually that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six two sixties. And then a part of a blush 360 and a white 360 to do his head. So we're going to start off with the uh, baby blue and the dark blue. And we're going to blow them up um, uh, three pumps or four pumps. You got about um, uh, seven finger tail on there and then you're going to blow the second one up same amount you're not going to use it all but it'll give you the ability to uh, utilize what you need to let's tie them together So then they're linked like this. And the first one we're going to play around with is the light blue. We're going to do a good two finger bubble and a pinch twist. So we've got it like so. And you're going to go a good five fingers. And then another two finger bubble with a pinch twist. So then it looks like this. I'm going to bring it back around like this. So now you have that. And then we're going to take the blue and we're going to make his feet. Um, when I did this one, as you notice that I did the blue across, the dark blue across, and I was supposed to do the light blue across, so I messed up on that. But we're going to do the, the feet first, which is this section or the legs of the pants actually not the feet so we're going to do the legs of the pants because he wears a shorts in dark blue so you're going to do a two finger bubble then you're going to make another two finger bubble and turn it into a pinch twist make another two finger bubble and pinch twist that you're going to make a two finger bubble like so and then another two finger bubble pinch twist another two finger bubble pinch twist and then another two finger bubble and tie it in here. So what's cool about this, uh, the remaining of this is if you make one, if you want to, you can save this and it'll go for the pants of the second one if you make a second one. So you can always save it for future things, for future. Then tie it in there. Now, in order to get it down so you don't have this gap right here, you're going to bring this down and over, match it up, and it just helps. So we have it like that, and bring it down and over. So, you 
you want to be able to save the light blue because the light blue is going, it, you use so much of it, you would have to use a second light blue. But with the dark blue, you'd have enough left over to do his pants again. So then you have his pants. Then make sure that the shorts of the pants are like that. Then you take the blush, blow it up, and you have it about a five finger tail. Make a small two pinch twist and a small one finger pinch twist. So one slightly bigger than the other. Then you're going to go three fingers down and you're just going to make a short hand. Twist that in. Now, the reason why I'm breaking it off is because I've done this design a couple times and I tried squishing it over to do the other hand. The problem is, is that you end up utilizing too much of the blush balloon and you won't be able to get his feet. If you're able to stretch it, you know, you might be able to get his feet in just fine. Or his legs, not really his feet, so you're doing his legs. Okay, so do the small bubble and a slightly bigger bubble. So you got his hand again, three finger bubble. Like I said, if you have enough, you could you if you if you squish if you take it and you squish it over, this will eliminate, and it's going to make it more difficult to do these little bubbles down here. But if you're savvy with your balloons, go ahead. See, because then. Make sure you secure the hand. And then again, before I do his bottom of his feet, did I get my black? Oh, I have leftover black from the first one. So what I'm going to do is a two finger bubble and a pinch twist. And then I'm going to do a three finger loop. And I've got one boot. I'm going to do a small bubble. And then I'm going to do another small bubble pinch twist. And then another three finger loop. I take this end here and I wrap it in here and then I go up three fingers and then I go ahead and tie it in here, one of the pant legs. three fingers and then I have a nipple end take that here wrap it into that pinch twist oh that's not supposed to come off oh it came off because that pinch twist came undone make sure you get your pinch twist in there good Secure that pinch twist. I've got that nipple end. 
and you're going to secure it into that top. Dark blue, two pinch twists. Right up in there. And you've got the feet. Now the next thing that you do is you take the 160 and you got another it's going to be four fingers And you're going to go four fingers up then you make a uh, three finger bubble pinch twist it four fingers across three finger bubble pinch twist four fingers across again and tie it into this pinch twist down here Then you're going to stretch, match it up, and go around making a frame, doubling up on the frame. Now, you notice I only did the white in the front because if you put the white in the back, it's going to um, offset the backpack a lot. So don't put the white in the back. So the front, you're just gonna take the white across and it's gonna kind of come out a little bit. So it's like four and a half fingers to five fingers. And then go ahead and wrap it in. Break it off. Secure it. And then you've got Okay, so then the next thing to do is the green. And you're gonna make a total of four bubbles, two light green, two dark green. The um, backpack is bulgy. And then so I go four fingers so bring it over four fingers make sure you got the green on green the right colors on top of each other Then take one of these, wrap it around, make an extension about eight fingers because you're going to create an attachment point on this end with just one of the colors. It can be the lime green or the dark green. It does not matter. Tie a knot. You want this attachment. It's going to go through here. And you have to bring it up. If you don't, and all you do is just bring it around. All it's going to do is come undone. So you gotta 
that. Again. Tie your knot. And you have your attachments. So you take the back end, which would be the two blues. Take one of the ends. And you want the light green to be on the top and the dark green to be on the bottom. So take this, slip it in that pinch twist. You'll have a couple uh, to choose from on this side. You want the one that's going to create the tightest attachment. It was spreading apart, so I just wrapped one of the nozzle ones around to kind of close it up. Lay it on top. Place it up against your chest. Grab this. on. Um, if you make longer attachments, of course, you won't have to do so dramatic pressing up and stuff. Then you take a white. It's going to blow it up, but then measure across the head. And you want to make it slightly bigger than four fingers but not too much, so it pressure fits in there. So, a little bit smaller. So this is four, seven fingers, okay? Take, I'm taking a scrap of a blush I'm going to do is go ahead and tie it here. And then I'm squeezing it here and then I'm twisting. Then I'm going to go ahead and tie. just a little bit of a nozzle end so we have that like so and then everything up so it's a little bit longer take a black sharpie because all he has is two little black eyes circles on the farther side of his head like so and then a nice And there you go. You got yourself a 
Adventure Time Design. You can play with this, and if you have your own ways of simplifying it, go for it. I hope you enjoy this one, and thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. As I always say, practice, 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 because that's what's going to make you guys a great balloon twister. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.